Hey, Alex here. Having a local server storage is very important, especially if you have many files that you need to access from time to time on multiple devices. Creating one is as simple as connecting a USB drive to your router and configuring Samba on both your PC and the router. You can access all the files on Linux PC from the file manager or on Android phone if you have the right file manager. To scale things up, you can replace the USB drive with an external hard drive or an SSD for more storage. To learn how, stick around till the end of the video. Now let's get started. So with a USB drive connected to your router and PC connected to your router's network, open your browser and type your router's IP address. It's written somewhere on the back of your router. It's usually 192.168.x.x. For my case, it's 192.168.1.1. Log in. Go to settings. Then to USB management. Enable network server here. Check maximum number of users if specified and their access permissions. Do confirm that your USB drive is available. Then go to user settings and see the users who can access this network storage already. I have three users here. Let's delete one user and add a new one. Joe here has access to all paths and has read-only permission. Now let's add a new user called John. Set 8 character password and confirm. We can give John access to all path or a specific user path by selecting device and select directory he can access. But for this case, let's go with uh, all paths and grant him read and write permissions so he can create and delete files. Then submit. Remember to write down the username John and the password. We will need them. You can now log out. Now we are done with the router settings. Next, on your Linux laptop, let's install Samba. Depending on what distro you have, here are the commands to install Samba. They will also be available in the description, so you can check them out from there. Let's now configure Samba. Open your terminal and type the following command sudo systemctl enable smb double hyphen now to enable Samba. If you have the UFW firewall, you can choose to disable it or just allow Samba with the following command sudo ufw allow Samba. For other firewalls, do a little internet search to learn how. Next, we need to edit the Samba config file. You can use whichever text editor you have. Could be Gedit, Nano, Vim, or any other. In the following command, replace Gedit with the text editor of your choice. Press Enter. Now on this file, go straight to Global. Just below Workgroup, add the following line. Client, Min, Protocol equals NT1. Save and close the file. Back to the terminal. Let's now restart Samba with the following command. sudo systemctl restart smb. Alright, time to access our storage. Go to the file manager and under other locations we have options for all kinds of protocol but all we need is Samba and here is the address format. Type SMB full colon double forward slash your IP address that's 192.168.1.1 forward slash followed by the name of the user we created for my case is John forward slash and click connect. Now first attempt may fail but don't worry just close the file manager and open it again and here it is. 
select registered user change the username to john and enter password that we set for john you can choose to remember password whichever way you want and connect and here is our usb drive john has access to all the files in here and with the read slash write permissions we can delete any file or even create a new folder once you are done here you can unmount the network drive from over here now let's get to the android so if you have any file manager that allows network storage for instance the es file manager open the app make sure you are connected to the router's wi-fi go to settings go to learn and scan for detected storage on the network select the detected storage it will ask for username and password we just use john and our password and there you have it here are all the files on the network drive and there you have it folks please subscribe and consider supporting my channel with a one-time paypal donation link is in the description below thanks for watching and catch you on the next one